Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again with some revamped intro music and a short one for you. Now I've had this bass amplifier for oh, a fair few years now, I got it in 2015, 16, somewhere around there. And it reckons its power output is 25 watts into 8 ohms. Well, I'm curious, I don't know if anyone else is, as to whether that is actually true. And I've been meaning to test the power output for years, but never got around to it. Um, so today is the day we're going to test it. In order to test that, I'm going to have to take the chassis out of the cabinet. And in order to take the chassis completely out of the cabinet, I'm going to have to unsolder the speaker. Pull off this grill. And I've got to take that 8 inch driver out. Now, I had a screwdriver here last week. So. Probably would have been easier to lay this on its back, you know. Oh, well, I don't have to unsolder anything. It's just plugged in, so. That makes it nice and easy. Okay, so I need to unscrew the chassis. Okay, so this should push forward. Just push backwards, no, it goes backwards. All right. Somehow I've got to fish these connections up through the hole. But like now I can get oh, where most of the weight is, the cabinet out of the way. But the chassis removed is actually relatively light. Right, that's an inside look at the chassis, a little bit better than I did in the last video about this but considering how inadequate that heat sink looks it's um doubtful it's going to get the 25 watts however if you can read upside down it says two times 20 volt winding so that's 40 volt ac which is what uh we're looking around about plus minus 28 something like that uh let's calculate it. it's 56.56 volts dc so that's uh, what, 28 volt, I think that's what I said. Okay, let's throw this thing on some test equipment and see what its actual output power really is. All right, I've got everything hooked up um, and we do have an output signal. Now that's one kilohertz going in and we notice that the waveform if I amplify it, uh, give it a little bit more gain. That waveform looks really bad. It's not really that great looking until we actually reduce the treble to zero then it returns to something that looks more sinusoidal but okay all the uh, effect controls treble middle bass and presence are in the center currently if we increase the presence control we can see there's an increase in the signal um, but it still looks strange until i've reduced the treble our presence is actually affecting the waveform. It's starting to make it bend and bow strange. The bass doesn't have much effect on the frequency at this point. Middle does. I think the middle's doing something. And the treble just makes it look terrible. So I'll just back the treble right off. We don't need it. Now, as for the power output, I'll wind it up. And we're in clipping there. Back it off. We have 36.5 volt peak to peak. So 36.5 divided by 2 equals that multiplied by itself. 
equals that divided by the speaker load. Well, okay, 41.63 watts peak. The RMS value is around 12.25 volts, we'll say. So 12.25 multiplied by 12.25 divided by divided by the the, ugh, the load. 18.75 watt continuous. Mm. Okay, or average continuous, just to say. That's not bad. That's with the tone controls in the center. So it is pretty close to the 25 watt. And that heat sink is getting considerably hot. Uh, it is really underrated for those transistors. My dummy load's sinking a little bit of heat. Well, I should probably run that for a bit and see how hot that heat sink actually really gets. All right, it's been running for about 10 minutes now. That is getting quite hot, but not hot to the touch. There's two, two watt resistors, I believe these are down here. They are considerably hot. All right, well, I can turn that off now. Uh, we've seen what it outputs. It's close to, more closer to 20 watts. Um, but yeah, it's not exactly a marketing wank lie. So that's all well and good. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to put the thing back in the cabinet now. I don't need to film that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe below. You can always follow me on Facebook and become a Patreon member for as little as a dollar a month. Anyway, this is Yastra 30 saying see ya. Have a great day.